Hi everyone, I'm Mark Sievers and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm really excited today. I'm gonna to show you how to make one of my favorite summer cocktails called In the Six Spritz. Say that three times fast. It's inspired by a trip to Paris I had in 2019 when I was there putting the finishing touches on my new cookbook, French Omelets, Your New House Meal. And I went to a favorite restaurant of mine called Ralph's Paris. It's a Ralph Lauren restaurant set in an immaculately renovated Beaux-Arts gorgeous building in Saint-Germain-de-Prés, which is in the sixth arrondissement, hence the name in the Six Spritz. I was there with a really good friend of mine, Jennifer, and it was her birthday that day. And we went for lunch in between recipe testing. And we had the most gorgeous rosé, grapefruit, and champagne cocktail. And I thought, I have to make this at home. So as soon as I came back to the States, I started working on it. And then things kind of got a little crazy with the book release and all that things. And then, but it's here. And I'm happy to bring it to you today. So. When I think of cocktail making at home, I do not have the kind of the real interest of having things that need eyedroppers of this or a splash of that and things I have to make from scratch by hand and I have to make all of these complicated ingredients or better yet go source all of the complicated ingredients. I really like classic cocktails at home that are easy to make. You can find everything at maybe the grocery store or even in this case in your liquor store. And it just takes a big pitcher, some great ingredients, and a little bit of mixy mixy. So let's get started on my In the Six Spritz. So like I said, it's a beautiful grapefruit cocktail. And instead of having grapefruit liqueur on hand, which I, I don't have, I found that if I just took a big, beautiful, fresh grapefruit and juiced it, mmm, and yum, and strained it and made sure there was no seeds in it, that was just enough of that grapefruit bitterness that I needed. I also need the peel of the grapefruit. So whenever I'm using a citrus-based uh, cocktail, I love Mm, to rim the outside and just kind of gently rim the glass with the essential oils in that peel. And what that does is when you go to sip the cocktail, you instantly get that beautiful, in this case, grapefruit fragrance. So I've done that to four of these glasses. This cocktail does make six very large cocktails or eight kind of average size cocktails. I'm gonna make four tonight because I need one, Ryan needs one, and I think we're gonna deliver a couple to our neighbors. So the next thing I need to do, and I'll give you a close up of this, is I wanna create a beautiful garnish because we've already rimmed the rim of the glass with the, with the grapefruit essence, but now we wanna just take a beautiful pick and just wrap that grapefruit around and just create a lovely garnish because that's good. That's what's gonna tell people what the cocktail is. And just like that. And I just have some beautiful wine glasses uh, with some ice. Not something I like to use a stemless glass here for because the warmth of your hand will melt the ice and then warm the cocktail. We don't want that. So now we just need all of the really good booziness. So I have a big pitcher and I have four ounces of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice and you can get this full written recipe at marksievers.com and I'll link it below. So just enjoy the process. I also need four ounces of a beautiful orange liqueur. Because this cocktail is based on a restaurant in Paris, I'm using Cointreau, which is a beautiful French brand and it is has the most layered bitter and sweet oranges that you can absolutely find in a triple sec. It's really good, trust me. And because this cocktail doesn't have a lot of ingredients, like most of my cocktails, I really make sure that I use the very best I can either afford and get my hands on. So now we need the wine. So I mentioned it was a rosé based cocktail. So I have a beautiful bottle of rosé that I kind of, see if I can, I opened it before and See if I can get the cork out. Oh, not very, not very climactic, but 
So I'm gonna put the entire bottle of rosé. And this is going to make it a beautiful summer sipper. So just like that, whole bottle of rosé. I keep all of the wine bottles because in the summertime, especially at parties, I'll sometimes just put single stems of peonies or single stems of greens from the farmer's market and lay them down the table or cluster them at one end. And then at the end of the night, everybody can take a bottle with, with a stem of flower and it's kind of like a little takeaway. So rather than recycle it first, give it some new use before you and let somebody else recycle it. So just give this a little stir and I always make a mess when I pour cocktails. So I'm gonna try really hard and I'm gonna fill that about three quarters full. Because we're gonna top this off with some bubbly. And I'm using beautiful French champagne for this. If you wanted to make this for a crowd, and champagne can be very expensive. You can also use a really good Italian Prosecco, but you wanna use something that you can drink by itself and is enjoyable. So let's see if this champagne bottle gives us a little bit more oomph. So to open champagne, you just take off the little metal cage very easily, and then you take your bottle, and I like to hold it flat, and I just twist the cork and the bottle simultaneously until it pops off. And it just very, very fizzy sound when it opens, and that's perfect. So a little beautiful French champagne. And if you wanted to pre-batch this cocktail in even larger amounts, you can make it in pitchers, put them in the refrigerator, and then just let guests pour their cocktail as need be and let them top it with champagne. You wouldn't want to top the cocktail in the fridge with champagne because you'd lose all of the bubbles from that that champagne is classically known for. So, I think we deserve a little sip. What do you think? Let's see. That's so good. What I love about this cocktail is it's really crisp. You and it's very clear what is in it. You really taste the rosé, you really taste the grapefruit, you have the little bit of orange that helps the rest of that citrus, and you have the fizz and the celebratory kind of characteristics of champagne and the bubbles. So in the sixth spritz, I hope you make this all summer long. I'm gonna have another sip. Mm. And enjoy. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and remember to hit the little notification bell so you're notified of new videos as soon as they post. And in order for that to happen, you must be subscribed to my channel. Head over to marksievers.com for this full written recipe and many, many others, including the entire series of my adventure in Paris and information on French omelets, your new house meal. Until then, au revoir and santé. <laughs> now, Ryan needs a cocktail, I need a cocktail. And didn't I say I was gonna give two of the neighbors? Uh, that might not happen. <laughs> Sante. <laughs> this recipe and more can be found on my website, markseavers.com. Thanks for watching.